Hello, welcome to another weekly installment of Phantom Reviews. Before we continue with our scheduled assassination of Dario Argento's Phantom of the Opera, we must present an important public service announcement from the team at Phantom Reviews. We are concerned that one or two viewers object to our criticism of Mr. Julian Sands' hairpiece. Wig! 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 It has even come to our attention that some people do not believe that Mr. Sands is, in fact, wearing a wig. So before we proceed, we must clear up this controversy. Here are photographs of Mr. Julian Sands. Notice his hair. This is called natural hair. This is the hair that grows naturally. And this, well, uh, well, it's a wig, isn't it? This hair is unnatural. It is overly long, matted with rat filth. This is not Mr. Sands' real hair. It is, as they say, a wig. A prop. It is fake hair. This is a wig. It's a wig. It's a wig. It's a wig! Wig! It's a wig! Wig! It's a wig! It's a wig! 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 It's a wig! It's a wig! It's a wig! It's a really terrible, awful, nasty wig! It's a wig! It's a wig! It's a wig! 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 It's a wig! It's a wig! It's a wig! 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 It's a wig! It's a wig! It's a wig! 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 It's a wig! I don't understand. Oh, that's Rollo's brother, Philippe. I didn't think I'd see him show up in this movie. I will take you to a place strictly reserved for the initiated, where I hope you can revitalize your jaded spirits. Ugh, I'm seeing man flesh. Lots and lots of man flesh. Some seriously ugly people in that sauna. Ah, that guy looks like the fat dude out of Austin Powers. I want to eat a baby! I don't know what's going on with these fops fighting, but Vol just keeps on sucking on that opium pipe. And then Val imagines that this prostitute is Christine. <laughs> we need a more licking, we need more panting, pant like a dog. Yes, pant like a dog. Christine? More bounce. Yeah, honey, touch yourself more. Great. Christine. Push those breasts together more. Come on, <laughs> maximum cleavage here, sweet pea. Dario, it's your daughter! <laughs> Dario, it's your daughter! Is that you, Christine? No, darling, it's not Christine. I'm Rose. Rose Velvet Lake. Tonight, your name is Christine. Rose. Rose Velvet Lips. <laughs> then he just knocks her over. I mean, she was just doing her job. What the hell? He's like, how dare you not be Christine? Get behind me, Satan! Get behind me, Satan! Double standard. Why else are you in a house of drugs and crack whores? What did you expect? What's his hair here? <laughs> oh, Nick's dandruff. Oh, tickles my chin. Oh, oh, can't cope with such a bad movie. <laughs> this whole sequence is one big drug induced trip out fantasy. Or the whole movie, even? I was gonna propose to Christine, but I got high. I'd be Prince, and she'd be my queen, but I got high. Now I'm smacking hoes, and I know why. Because I got high, because I got high, because I got high. Swiss chocolate. The best. From Geneva. Eat it. It's good. And just when you think this movie can't get any worse, we have the pedophile subplot where this pervy guy chases a little girl down into the cellars. Now, this is something that just didn't need to be in a phantom movie at all. 
actually feel sorry for this little girl. It's like she probably has this really pushy Hollywood mom, and she's like, "Oh my darling, Dario Argento has been on the phone. He has a great part for you." What part's that, Mammy? Oh, he wants you to be a little ballerina girl. Yay! Who gets chased by this wicked man who wants to have sex with you? I mean, that's going to look great on her CV, isn't it? What roles have you done before? Well, I was the object of a pedophile's lust in Dario Argento's Phantom of the Opera. Actually, just mentioning she was in Argento's Phantom would be enough. So what have you been in before, my dear? Well, I was in Dario Argento's Phantom... Next! Here I am. Are you? Does this guy remind you of the child catcher and she did you back back? Lollipops, come and get your lollipops. Nice to me. All around the phantom's cave, the child was chased by a weirdo. The phantom thought it was pretty dense. Here. Oh, goes the pedo. What the hell was that? Wig. Wig! Wig! Wig, 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 So after being rescued from some evil dude who wants to feel her up, she gets felt up by an evil weird dude. Go home. Okay, so how exactly does she find her way out of this labyrinth? I mean, everyone else gets hopelessly lost, not to mention it's supposedly filled with booby traps. No directions, no advice, nothing. Just go home, child. Where have you been? The Phantom ate my ship, hurt you? Oh, oh yes, of course he did. <laughs> now tell us another one. But it's true. I saw him. He pulled my hair, too. <laughs> You're a very naughty girl. You know, you shouldn't lie. Owned! Oh, seriously, Dario. What the hell? Oh no, seriously, what the hell? We are sorry to interrupt your viewing of the Phantom of the Opera, but now a scene from a far superior movie, the Steampunk Rat Catcher Chronicle. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> With this machine, we are going to trip the production. For my name isn't in us, I can't. Revanche, revanche. I drive that ferocious beast out of his lair. I tear him to pieces. You're talking to the camera. Now here's one of the best moments ever. Watch this carefully. So the maid sat there smoking crack or whatever it is, and the door opens and she sees Asia with a dead dove on her head. And she must be like, holy crap, I'm not smoking this stuff again. It's Vadal's prong. I was gonna clean all day, Roll another but part. I got high. Yeah. I was gonna beat up Joseph Bouquet, but I got high. La, 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 now la, I'm seeing dust, and I don't know why. La, 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 because la, 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 I got high, because la, 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 I got high, because la, 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 I got high. It's not even a small dove, it's like a super dove. What were they thinking? Seriously, what the hell? Is, is that a real dove? Are you telling me that someone specially bred doves for this purpose? You know, perhaps the dove thought he was going to be in a big movie, you know, maybe a Jesus movie where he could play the Holy Ghost, but no, Dario Argento comes, puts a pin up his ass and sticks it on Asia Argento's freaking hat. This is a minor nod to reality because people actually did wear hats like that. You know, back when you could be a taxidermist and a haberdasher and save some money. Stupid people wore hats like that, my dear. Stupid people. Yes, but it was a nice nod to reality. It's only nod to reality. 